Hello and welcome to Ignite TV. So good of you to join us. Today we have an amazing episode with Dinesh, all the way from Dubai. Uh, this man walks in signs and wonders and miracles. He's got an incredible testimony of how he found God and how Jesus came into his life and radically saved him. So, Dinesh, it's been so good getting to know you over the last um, few days. He was introduced to me by a good friend of mine, Joe Lee. And Joe Lee, he's such a legend. We love what he's doing in the nation of New Zealand. So he introduced me, and um, I've heard a little bit of your story. And the part that I've heard, I am completely blown away. And it's been so good hearing the miracles that you've walked out in your life, even your salvation experience. Yeah. I give full honor and glory to God for right. how he's called you into the kingdom. So I would really love if you could just share with our audience of Ignite TV Amen. your journey to salvation, because it's pretty incredible. Right. It's a pretty incredible journey. Um, so yeah, how did you first become Christian? How did you first discover um, that Jesus was was God and 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 because I know you you weren't born into a Christian family, is that right? Yeah, you're yeah. born into a Hindu family, yes. is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So why don't you just share with the audience yes. um, how that walked out worked out for you and how you walked through that journey? Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Well, Steve, thank you so much for having me. Oh, so here well, in, more in than Matt welcome. TV. Yeah, uh, we thank and praise God that. Um, you know, Jesus uh, reaches to the unreached, unchurched, yeah. unchanged people to bring them into the salvation. That, that is all <laughs> what this show is about. We just want to Amen. share the gospel Amen. with every single person that watches this episode. So the heart of it is to reach unsaved people. Unsaved people, yes. Yeah. I was a Hindu. My wow. uh, family members and all the ancestors were Hindu. We were into, like, we were having a lot of Hindu temples of our own. And because of the group of our family members, we were being involved and indulged like a priest in the Hindu temples, you know. And we were involved with an anti-Christian organization in India. Wow. Um, who uh, My grandfather was the co-founder of it. So because of that, we had to start all over in India. We were traveling to the places as a family together to start that organization. As part of that organization, uh, we used to stop Christian crusades, meetings, and demolish the churches and persecute somebody who's spreading the gospel. And one day when I went to stop one small meeting, I couldn't stop. I started kneeling down. I thought, why am I kneeling down here? I never knelt down to any idols that I was worshipping. I came to stop this meeting. And at my surprise, I started hearing a wonderful and amazing voice speaking to me, Dinesh. I love you. When I heard that voice, it was an amazing voice. So did you hear an audible voice audible of God? Audible voice in you, my you, ears. You heard an audible voice of God. Audible voice of God in my ears. Dinesh, I love you. I love you. Wow. Because they don't know me. The people, those who are there, they don't know me. I don't know them. And nobody can call me there. And suddenly when I heard the voice, I started looking in everywhere from where this voice is coming because I don't know from where this voice is coming and who is calling me. Yeah. And second time when I heard the same voice, Dinesh, I love you. Wow. And I fell down as soon as that, that voice hit my ears, I fell down. I was on my knees and I fell down and I'm not able to take my hands out. And third time when I heard the same voice, Dinesh, I love you, I saw clearly from where it is coming, I was in front of a person. His head is almost touching the sky. His feet is in front of me. And his face is uh, uh, it's like sun. You know, you cannot see the sun. When he spoke the third time, I saw him clearly. He's none other than Jesus Christ. Wow. So what you're telling me is you're on the way to stop the crusade. Yes. And you're, so you're in the sh you're in the street. Uh, no, I'm in the place where to stop the crusade. I was about to stop. Wow. I was I was almost done to stop it. Yeah. But I was not able to stop it. I started kneeling down. Wow. The glory and the presence Amen. fell on you. Every knee shall bow, as wow. the word of God says. I just uh, 
um, I, I saw him, I thought, because they were conducting a Christian crusade and meeting, these Christians might be showing Jesus to terrorize me to leave that place. But I thought, uh, why Jesus is so bright and Jesus doesn't need any introduction. Mm. When I saw him, when I looked at him, and I realized that he's Lord Jesus. Wow, amen. And then I was at uh, surprise as I was, I fell down. He stretched his hand, touched my hand, lifted me up, and I felt him physically in this hand. Wow. Physically. As it, soon as you yeah. felt the hand of God. Hand, hand of Jesus physically. Like this. Like this. And he lifted me up. As soon as he lifted me up, I was indulged with uh, kind of a witchcraft and black magic and sorcery because of the temple services. All those legions of spirits that was tormenting my body left my body instantly as soon as it touched me. So you had some spiritual torment and, and stuff that was going on yes. in your life. Yes. And the moment that happened, you were set free. Yes. What happened is in our temple services, you know, there used to be some witchcraft black magician, they used to come and take some utensils. I used to go with them and check whether it, what they're doing. And I started, it's working effectively. I started learning that witchcraft and black magic and sorcery. And it was more interesting than doing the temple services. And whenever you're doing witchcraft or black magic or sorcery, you'll be filled with those evil spirit and do that according to the leading of those evil spirits. So that day when Jesus touched me, all those legions of spirits that was leading me to do that witchcraft and black magic and sorcery left my body. Wow. And I started speaking in tongues. I don't know what is tongues. I've never been to church. Don't know what is speaking in tongues. Yeah. And the congregation that I tried to stop that meeting, they don't believe in speaking in tongues. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was possessed with evil spirit okay. and shouting in tongues. Wow. And that's the reason why because I was wearing all those anti-Christian organization slogans and everything on my body. Yeah. So they thought that I was possessed with evil spirit and speaking in tongues, but I was casted out of the evil spirit and started speaking in tongues. Wow. That was the first encounter that I had with Jesus. And then um, I left the place uh, and I couldn't stop that meeting. And those people, they asked me, what happened to you? I said, I saw Jesus. And uh, You saw the light of the world. Yeah, you man. saw the light of the Amen. world. I just feel that in my heart just Amen. to say this, yeah. is that when you have one touch from Jesus, when the light of the world steps into your life, demonic strongholds are broken. Amen. The enemy has to flee. Amen. Light will always overcome darkness. Amen. It overpowers it every Amen. single time. Yes. It cannot stand. Yes, absolutely. The enemy cannot stand against us. Yes, absolutely. And you, were, you had this incredible encounter of a loving God telling you He He loves you. Amen. He set you free. Amen. Amen. Wow. Praise God. And that hand that Jesus held never stopped shivering for so many months and weeks. I, my hand was shivering, even in the dream. Like a like a shivering, sh like this shiver. Wow. And I went to the doctors and tested and scanned, screened, but it never stopped. Until I had another encounter of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I love the Holy so, Spirit. Amen. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Yeah. So uh, that's how I came uh, to know the Lord uh, because I started following Jesus and I was casted out of the house and hated my people and went out of the house and uh, started preaching the gospel, street gospel, ever since uh, I got saved. And I started traveling to the all the North, North Indian um, uh, states. And the Lord revealed me 20 years back about uh, Middle East. The Lord started showing me the vision about Middle East. And the Lord brought me to Middle East based in Dubai. We started churches in Middle East uh, and North Africa, many places from 20 years. This is an amazing story. So basically, what I love about your story is the enemy tried to use you. Yes. Right. Yes. You tried to, you were doing anti-Christian anti stuff. Yes. But what God wants to use, yes. you know, what the enemy wanted to use for yes. evil, yes. God turns it around and uses it for good. Yes. So now you become a church planter. Amen. Yes. Throughout yes. 
Middle India, Eastern. Middle East, all those areas. All those areas, yes. I believe strongly that one time when we pray for an unsaved, unreached, unchurched person, they can never ever escape salvation experience. Oh wow! Well, I feel anointed. I feel I feel God on that. I, I want you to pray Amen. right now Amen. while while we're in Amen. the spirit. Amen. That exactly what you said. Yes. So when God encounters you, yes, you can never run. Yes. I've experienced that myself. Amen. Amen. You know, I've tried to run from God. I've I've literally tried to avoid God. Praise God. But he just he's hooked my heart. Amen. And I I I can't escape him. Praise you God. probably understand the same yes, feeling, right? Yes. Yeah. So why don't you just pray that right now? Yes. Anybody who is not saved, who is not reached, anybody who's got uh, any kind of negative feeling about Christianity, Jesus Christ, uh, you know, I'm telling you, you will be saved. Salvation is contagious yes. and it will spread to every member of the family. As the Lord Jesus says, that believe in the Lord Jesus, you and your family shall be saved. Yes. We pray right now, any person who has been watching, if you or any member of your family is not saved, let them be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 This is going to be a point of contact and many people, whomever you're forwarding this, and they shall have a touch of the Lord. And we are in their presence where we are exp experiencing the tangible presence of God. You shall experience the presence of God and tangible presence of God as you're going to forward this. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise God. So now you have seen some incredible, Incredible things. Amen. Some incredible things happen. Amen. You've seen the hand of God move. Yes. You're a miracle, man. Amen. Yourself, I mean, your salvation. Praise God. Yourself Praise is God. a miracle, right? Amen. So you told me, I heard of a story about God telling you to leave a situation. Yes. A am I right? Yes. Yes. You heard the audible voice of God. Audible voice. You heard the audible voice of God again. So a voice told you to leave a situation. Yes. And you did. Yes. Would you feel comfortable sharing that story? Yes, sure. I was in Iraq. We had a church, a White Brent Church in Iraq. And um, um, there was bombing, a lot of war was going on. There was a curfew. We cannot go out of the home. They gave a few hours to just go and do the shopping and come back and sit in our homes. We have been get, just given a few hours. And then I went inside the grocery store, like supermarket. I was shopping for the whole week. I was not having anything. I was shopping. And suddenly the Holy Spirit told me, leave this place. And when I heard that, delayed obedience is disobedience. Mm -hmm. When God speaks to us, we have to obey immediately. I uh, left I'm, the trolley. Personally, I've learned that lesson the hard way. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Good word. <laughs> I yeah. left the trolley, what I was uh, shopping, and then moved out of the grocery. And that Iraqi storekeeper, he was insisting me, almost he's about to beat me to pay for the trolley and go. But despite of that, I just left it and went outside of so, the grocery. So he's angry with you. He's angry because he's like, I come was, and pay for my groceries. <laughs> the groceries you right. Because I loaded, I was in the line. Right. And I was supposed to do that. And uh, as the word of God says, man shall not live by bread alone, mm. but by every word proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen. I'm looking for a grocery to survive for a week, but the Lord wants to save my life. And when I went outside of grocery, whole grocery and supermarket blown up with a huge bomb. Not even one person was alive in the grocery. Everybody died. I could see the flesh coming out, head coming out, hands coming out. And I have flown, even though I was 100 meters away, I was flown out of that and bent on my knees and my knees broken. And uh, it was a horrible situation, but my life saved. And I was crying to the Lord, why you don't speak to all those people in the grocery so that they can escape? Holy Spirit speaks to us every moment of our life. It's only we are not hearing. Mm. If we would have heard, we would have escaped so much of turmoil in our lives. Yeah. That's what I learned there. Wow. That's one of the incident. So there was a massive explosion. Massive explosion. It was horrible. And it frees your knees. And I just flew and 
fell on my knees. Did you get injuries on your I knees? I got broken in my uh, broken knees. Yeah. And then it was floating in the cartilage for a long time. I didn't realize it. I just walked and then I thought it's only just pain. But amazingly, supernatural Lord disappeared all those broken bones so you, without operation. So you had a healing? I had a healing. Your knees were healed? My knees were healed amazingly. Wow. Was broken, broken. I have a scan from a doctor that my bones pieces were floating in the cartilage. And then uh, after that, Lord brought me to New Zealand one time. And when I was in a conference, one of the conference, I got a confirmation that's finished. So you got healed in New Zealand. <laughs> yes. Oh, Just amen. <laughs> yes. The glory of the Lord flows through, flows through New Zealand. <laughs> amen. Yes, yes. Revival is here. Yeah. Amen. That's awesome. So you received the healing. Amen. Yeah. Um, after that, have you seen any other? I yes. mean, because that, that in itself yes. is incredible. Amen. You've heard an audible voice of God. Amen. You've avoided death. Amen. Amen. And your, your injuries have been healed. Praise God. Amen. Which is like three miracles. Yes. And the Lord is continuously, you know, in Middle East, supernatural should be natural for us. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Normal, plain gospel doesn't work. You need to move with the signs and wonders. And I've, God is proving. I've always said that. I've always said supernatural. But people work on this. They see the super part, right? Right. But they don't hear the natural part. Yes. Natural should just be like how we are now, like all, right. you know. Yes. It's just natural to be right. to be me. Normal. So it's supernatural. It's natural to walk in the supernatural. Yes. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I was once the Lord told me to go to Iraq. Yes. I was checking with the Lord, have you done any spelling mistake? Is it surely Iraq or India? Yeah. Lord will never change his word. So I, any country, Muslim country that I go, because I tore hundreds of Bibles, I burnt hundreds of Bibles before coming to the Lord. I have a burden to take the Bibles. I took uh, more than 30 cages of Bibles there to Iraq. Wow. And that was a time where war was there and they were killing Christians. And especially if somebody's uh, seen with the Bible, they're shooting them then and there itself. I do not know that. Wow. And then I went with 30 cages of Bible. I came out of airport going in the taxi and some mob of people stopped me. They were, I was passing through that area where there's trouble, some problem is there. And they stopped me and they kept a gun on the back and they told me to open all the bags what I'm bringing in the country. They are private people. They are the people who's killing Christians. And then I started opening all the bags. All the bag, bags has Bibles. They asked me, what is that? I said, it's Bible. And they brought the gun and kept on my chest here and asked me, are you a Christian? And then immediately, you know, if gun is on your chest, knife is on your throat, your real Christianity comes out. Mm. We all sing that we give life to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, really, the rubber really hits the road, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I said, I'm not only Christian, but I'm a pastor. That's why I'm taking these Bibles. And, uh, you know, Word of God says, if you try to save your life, you'll lose it. Mm. If you try to lose your life for the sake of God, you'll gain it. Mm. So I was bold enough. Holy Spirit gave me that boldness. And I started uh, saying those words. Immediately, they sh he started shooting the gun. He, he tried to shoot you? He started shooting with the gun. And not even one bullet is coming out of it. Wow. I was surprised. I thought he was playing just to terrorize. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, just to kill me. And then as that bullets are not coming out, that gun is not working, he went because there was a mob of people around that place. And he went to other guy. He started taking his gun. He started shooting with that gun. And that gun also not working. Not even one bullet is coming out of it. <laughs> See, what you're saying is the, the gun... They were going to shoot you. Yes. They were shooting me. Then... But but God stopped. God stopped the bullets and God stopped that gun. <laughs> but in between that, there is something is going on. I started praising God. Yeah. And speaking in tongues. You know, praise will change your present situation. Yeah. Lion marks its boundary with the roar. Mm -hmm. When we praise, there's a boundary so even in praise, like just being thankful for things. Yes, thankful. Being thankful, thankful. for like your family yes. or 
or um, having air to breathe or food to eat, just being grateful for yes. that. That bring uh, sometimes that's how I praise God. You know, yeah, I just yeah. I just show gratitude for what I have and yes. you know um, what God has done for me in my life. You know, yeah. yeah. Yes. And Jesus meets us in the death-like situations. Mm. I was in death-like situation. They t- they tried to kill Jesus. He resurrected on the third day. Anybody who is trying to kill for the sake of Jesus will be resurrected and will mm. never die. And they started arguing because that gun was not working. Yes. They started pushing each other, yes. fighting each other. Yeah. And then uh, suddenly my driver asked, can we go? He said, okay, yeah, La Barra, you can go. Then we were escaped and we started churches after escaping from there in Iraq. Wow. Praise God. Because we have a saying in Christianity, no yeah. weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Right? Amen. And we often say that in church, like, you know, like, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And it's like quite a lighthearted thing. So, you know, I don't want to yes. downplay it or anything, yes. but sometimes we can just say it yes. without any meaning to it. Right. But that actually has meaning to it. Right. No weapon right. formed right. against you shall prosper. Yes. You know? It might be a gun. It might be a word. It might be any situation that is formed against us shall never prosper. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I would really love for you to impart Amen. today Amen. to everyone who's watching this show. Amen. You're um, I want to just, if you don't mind. Yes. But in New Zealand, we give nicknames for people. <laughs> <laughs> you are miracle man. Amen. We receive it. You are miracle man. Amen. Your receive whole it. life. Amen. And testimony Amen. is a miracle. Amen. And I believe in miracles. Amen. I'm 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 hungry yes. to see miracles happen in my own life. Yes. You know? Yes. Why don't you just pray today for our audience? Amen. That they would begin to have miracle encounters Amen. with God and Holy Spirit. Yes. I'd love for you to pray for people who are searching for Jesus. Amen. Searching for hope. Yes. And just impart into yes. the viewers today. Amen. Yeah. I wanted to, before, the, before we pray, I wanted to say that Jesus is alive. Jesus is very much alive. He's living. If you want to test and taste him, just call upon his name. Wherever, however your situation is, just call upon his name. He will hear your prayers. And surely you will receive the answer. I have seen and we have seen in Middle East a tangible presence of the Lord. As we are going to impart, have that faith. We have seen a tremendous death and tremendous situations that God has escaped and ensnared us. Today the Lord is going to. Shall we pray? Yeah, let's do that. Amen. Father, we thank you. Jesus. Right now as we experience your presence here. An amazing presence, glorious presence, tangible presence. We impart it to each and every viewer, Lord Father. Whoever is watching this, Lord Father, let them be filled with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, with the power of God. Oh, we decree a resurrection power, living water, consuming fire, anointing of the Holy Spirit and blood of Jesus into their soul, spirit and body, Lord Father. As salvation is contagious, Lord Father, Mm -hmm. let it spread to every member of their family. Thank you, Lord Father. We decree that all that impartation of miracle signs and wonders and healings and restorations and castings of the evil spirit and all that wonders that you have done, Lord Father. We impart it right now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost to every viewer in Jesus' mighty name we pray. It. Amen. 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 That was God. awesome. That was awesome. That was so good. Amen. I don't know. I'm just feeling something in the Holy Spirit now. Um, but would you pray Amen. again? Amen. And because pr- we have many Hindu people in New Zealand, oh, wow. many yes. uh, Muslim people in New Zealand. Yes. Would you pray that they would receive an encounter? Amen. Like Amen. you did. Yes. And that we would have people coming to churches in New Zealand yes. saying, "I met." King Jesus. Amen. Amen. Would you would you pray again and just yes. impart that? Sure. I Before just feel the, the Holy Spirit on that. You yes. Know? Just just want to 
say one thing about that. Jesus, without sharing our gospel, he is making it very easy in the Middle East by appearing to a lot of unsaved, unreached, unchurched people like me, even Muslims. I've heard about this. They the are man in white. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is appearing to them in visions and dreams. Wow. And some of them, they are calling me, asking me, Pastor Dinesh. They are not Christians. They are not believers. I'm seeing this Jesus every day in the bloodshed cross. What do you want me to do? Only thing you got to do is you got to be saved. Mm. And Jesus is introducing to them directly and they are coming to the salvation directly mm. without the help of any gospel. Wow. These are the days people are seeing face-to-face -face visions and dreams and that is following and it shall spring forth to every person here in New Zealand. Wow. Amen. We received that. Amen. We Amen. received that. Amen. We'll pray on that. Yeah, you can pray. Father, we thank you. We are in the last days, Lord. End times, Lord. As you are appearing to many people in face-to-face -face appearances, Lord Father. Not just to change their religion, but to bring the relationship back to God the Father, Lord Father. So that they can have a proper relationship in the family on this life, on this earth, Lord Father. We decree a supernatural salvation to flow mm. right now. To any person who is not saved, who doesn't know Jesus as a Lord, God and Savior, let them accept you as a Lord, God and Savior. We release the blood of Jesus to bring them into salvation. In Jesus' name, we pray, Father. Amen. 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 Wow, what an incredible episode. Amen. I just want to thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So much for Praise giving up Lord. your time Praise and coming to share Amen. over the nation of New Zealand. Amen. And it's just been such a blessing getting to know you. Praise and I believe that this is just the beginning. Amen. Hopefully our relationship can grow. And yes. We'll see you again when you come back to New Zealand. And Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So good. Thank you so much for tuning in to Ignite TV today. Have an amazing week. God bless. Praise God.